Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Jessica. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some super quick and easy Dollar Tree DIYs that are really high end looking and will definitely elevate any space. And I wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, and I'm going to be sharing more on them later on in the video. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. I am so excited to share this first DIY with you guys because it is so simple, but when we are done, this Dollar Tree tray is going to be completely transformed. So I found this one in their summer area and I picked it because of its size. It is super large, very sturdy, and I thought that it would just be perfect for this DIY. So the first thing I have to do is just cover up that pink color. They had this one in pink and blue and this spray paint covered it up wonderfully. I'm gonna leave this one linked down below. So here it was after it was all painted. I painted the front and back and this one is a matte coat which is going to just really elevate this tray. Now the second thing I picked up at Dollar Tree was this wallpaper and I was so excited to see this there. This was a new find for me and they had some awesome prints. So I was pretty familiar with some of their smaller tiles but I had never seen these larger stickable wallpaper sheets before and they are perfect for a DIY. I was really loving this one too and you actually will see it pop up later on in the video but I decided to go with the white and gold one for this tray and this is what's really going to make this tray stand out. Now it did say to keep it away from a flame so I won't be putting any candles on this tray but this would be perfect for a flameless candle, some books, or maybe even some small photo frames. To get the perfect size oval, I just flipped over my tray and then took my paper and kind of lined it up where I wanted it to sit on the tray. And then I just went ahead and used my fingers to press around that bottom oval. So that ridge was roughly the same size as the front of the tray. So I figured that if I just kind of made the imprint, I could cut it out and then it should fit pretty well and it ended up fitting perfectly. Once I had it completely cut out, I just flipped my tray around and placed it in the center to make sure that it was going to fit in that inner oval. And then I just made some final adjustments to make sure that it was going to lie properly. These wallpapers are self-adhesive, which is awesome. All you have to do once you cut out your shape is just peel that paper right off the back. And it actually did say that these were adjustable. So if you put them on your wall, you should be able to peel them up and readjust them. I didn't try that out with the tray because luckily I did get it right in the center on the first try, but you probably could reposition it if you had to. Now I'm just pressing down in the center and then working my fingers out to the edges just to make sure that everything is exactly where it should be. You could even seal this paper in with some Mod Podge or maybe some clear spray paint, but I'm just going to leave mine as is. The last thing I do want to do is add some rope handles. So this is just some nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, and these handles are purely going to be decorative on this tray because I'm just attaching mine with some hot glue. So if I'm going to be moving my tray around, I'm just going to be picking it up by the body, not by those handles. But if you did want to add functioning handles, you could just use a Drill to drill small holes into the side of the tray. I would do this before painting. You can even put a piece of tape down that way. Hopefully it doesn't split the plastic at all. You can just feed your rope through those holes and create a knot on the bottom. That way you can actually pick up your tray using your handles. And here is how it turned out when it was all done. I absolutely love this DIY. It was so simple to put together, but it definitely makes a big impact when it is out on a table and it definitely has that high end look. Next up is a DIY that I think you guys are really going to love. We are making an end table from Dollar Tree items. So I started off by picking up two of these buckets from the Dollar Tree and I want to remove the handle. So I just use my scissors and you want to get as close to that lip as possible because we want these to be pretty flat. If it's a little rough, just take a sanding block and just smooth it down. You're also going to want to pick up one of these pizza trays from the kitchen area at Dollar Tree. This is going to act as the top of our table and it actually fits into these buckets perfectly. 
So I am going to be spray painting everything first in this white Rust-Oleum spray paint. This is the same one that I used on the tray and it has that beautiful matte look and it is an ultra cover spray paint so you won't have to do too many layers which is awesome. So painting the tray is optional because we actually are going to be covering it up but just in case any of that metal was peeking through I didn't want it to be silver because I thought that that would just stand out so the white kind of helps to camouflage it. Now I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. I actually just took this iPhone photography class and it was all about how to take pro photos using only your iPhone. It was with Dale McManus and it was awesome. Another great thing about Skillshare is their entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, German, and of course English, which is really helpful, I think. Something you guys might not know is that I actually use my iPhone to shoot all of my YouTube videos as well as take all of my photos. So this class was really helpful at just kind of giving me some tips that I didn't really know about and getting the most out of my camera and making sure that I'm getting those really professional looking shots. But if that is not the class for you, don't worry. There are so many different categories. They have lifestyle, arts, music, and new classes launch each week. So there's always something new to discover. And Skillshare has given me a code. I'm gonna leave it linked down below in the description box. And the first 1,000 people to use my link will get one month of a free trial for Skillshare. Be sure to check my description box for that link. Back to the DIY. So here are my buckets all dry from the spray paint. And I did end up leaving the inside blue. I didn't wanna waste the extra spray paint because in the end, we're not gonna see the inside. So you can just leave it as is. But before we assemble everything, we do have to transform this tray and the way we're going to do that is by using some of the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. So you can usually find this in their floral department. I have three here but I actually did end up getting an extra one and then I did have some extra scrap rope laying around that I did use. So I would say pick up between four to five of those to cover this tray up. And I'm just going to be using hot glue to attach my rope today and I will be using my Gorilla hot glue sticks. You guys know I love these, I swear by them. I think that they're just kind of extra strong, so that's what I'm gonna be going with. I'll leave them linked down below in the description box. But to start off, you're just gonna wanna put some hot glue right in the center of your tray. And you wanna make sure it is the center because it's just gonna help you when you're wrapping it around to make sure that it is looking nice and even. And every time that I am adding more rope, I am making sure to just put some hot glue down. That way it is going to be sticking to that tray. So this is how far I got with my first rope. And now I'm just adding my second in. So you just wanna try to attach it as closely as possible. Wait for that glue to dry before you start wrapping it. That way it kind of just looks like one continuous strand of rope. This does take a little bit of time, but patience is key because you want to make sure that you are adding enough hot glue that the rope is going to definitely stick to the tray, but you don't want to add too much because then it might seep out and not look as neat. So just take your time and do it in small sections. That way the hot glue is not drying by the time you wrap that rope around. Here is my tray after I had finished with my third strand of rope. So now I'm going to start my fourth and I'm just filling in some gaps first and then I'm going to start hot gluing the rest of the robe along the lip of the tray. Now that everything is covered, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off the rest of my rope and just hot glue my last piece in place. So now we have to assemble everything. So you'll see the bucket kind of has a small ridge on the bottom. So I wanna glue those two together and I'm gonna be using some E6000 today as well as some hot glue just to get a really strong hold. And if you wanted to really secure these together, you could just drill a hole through the bottom of this bucket and kind of just secure it with a screw to the second one. Now to attach the top, I'm just adding some hot glue and E6000 to that inner circle. So that's gonna be the one we are gluing the bucket onto. And then you can just apply some pressure, hold it in place and wait for it to dry completely. So when it was all done, I kind of noticed that you could still see this lip here. 
and I wasn't loving that so I did decide to add another row of rope to kind of camouflage that and I think it looks a lot better now and now your end table is ready for you to decorate so of course I wouldn't put anything too heavy on here and don't put any candles or anything like that but I do think that this looks so beautiful really high end and I think I'm probably going to be using mine on my patio so here are those peel and stick wallpaper panels that I showed you guys earlier in the video and I did end up buying two of these from Dollar Tree because I wanted to just create some really inexpensive but beautiful art. So I also picked up these two frames from the Dollar Tree. I thought the white and the gold would just really complement this leaf print and give it that really sophisticated look. Starting off by just removing everything from this frame. So I want to take out that paper insert to use as my template. And I wanted to create two pieces of art that would really complement each other, but would be a little bit different. So to achieve that look, I just took my paper and I ended up placing it in two different spots of the wallpaper panel. So for the first one, I kind of went with the bottom right hand. And then for my second piece, I went with the upper left hand corner. That way they are really similar, they go together, but it's not just the exact same print. And now all you have to do is just put it back into the frame. It is that simple and quick. The only other tip I do have is to basically frame your print above the glass. So just put the print in first, then put the glass in, followed by everything else. That way you can avoid that glare that the glass gives off and it really does just help to elevate it. Here's a closer look at how they turned out. I am absolutely obsessed with these. I love how they go together but they're a little bit different and you could definitely even just hang these up on a wall and it is some super inexpensive artwork. So I'm sure you have seen these vases at the Dollar Tree. They've had them for many years, but I wanted to show you a different way to use them in a DIY. So first I'm just washing it and making sure it's super clean. I'm mainly going to be focusing on the inside of the glass though, because that is where we are going to be painting it. So by painting the inside of the glass, it's going to give it a completely different look. So I'm going to be using this spring green color here. I picked this one up at Walmart. I believe it was around a dollar. The reason I chose this color because I wanted this to look like jadeite. I absolutely love jadeite, but it can be pretty pricey. So I wanted to see if I can get that look for less, but you can of course use any color you like for this technique. So you can just pour some paint in, kind of swirl it around, or just use a brush to paint up the sides. When you use a brush, you do get a bunch of brush strokes. That is totally okay. Just let your first layer dry and then go in with a second layer. And here is how it turned out. By painting that inside, it really does change the overall look of this vase. And I think it looks so beautiful and it definitely does have that jadeite look for less. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these ones. I had so much fun creating this video. Let me know below in the comments which one is your favorite and if you plan on DIYing any of these crafts. I have some more fun DIY videos on the way very soon, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're the first to know when I release a new video. Thank you so much for watching.